Hi guys, happy Tuesday. So I am back with a video for Tuesday and I wanted to do something different for this video and a video that I've never done before. So I decided I wanted to share with you guys my YouTube story and how I became a YouTuber and why I decided to put videos on YouTube. Okay, so here it goes. I joined YouTube in, I want to say May of 2007. And the very first upload I did was a documentary that one of my friends did for a high school project and she needed a way to upload it. So I created a channel, we uploaded it, and now it has like thousands and thousands of views. But if you go back and look at it, I look completely different. But um, anyway, after that, I decided that I really liked editing videos and I wanted to learn more about it. And since then I decided why not make more videos and I honestly didn't even know like I didn't know there was a YouTube community I thought there was just people who were like trolls I guess you could say who were just kind of mean and wanted to hurt other people and I really wasn't about that so I started posting videos once I started my freshman year of college with some of my friends and um just videos so that my family could see what I was doing and see who my friends were and what I was up to and different things that I did and throughout that time I was doing lots of media interviews and my name was kind of being put out there because I do have if you are new to my channel I do have a rare syndrome that doesn't allow me to gain weight and so a lot of people were kind of looking me up and decided to um, Google my name I guess and they found my channel and subscribed and to be completely honest it wasn't until like probably two years into having my channel that I decided to check how many subscribers I had because again I didn't think subscribers really meant like anything at all and so I checked it and I had 24,000 subscribers and I was shocked I was floored um, and then I kept like Whenever I find something that I really like, I start researching it and I get really, really into it and I do whatever I can to learn everything I can about it and that's what I did with YouTube. I started realizing that if you film more content and if I film stuff that I'm going through or kind of think of it as like a video diary and just talk to you guys and if I break down all the barriers of sitting in front of a camera and saying, today I didn't feel pretty today someone called me the world's ugliest woman here on YouTube. I could have let that stop me but I didn't because I feel like I'm reaching out to you guys. Like you and, you and us, we're friends, we're amigos, we're buddies. And I wanted to keep that going so I kept making more videos and more videos and I used to film on my old MacBook, I used to film on my iPhone, I filmed on a camera, I tried a flip cam, I tried all kinds of different cameras for a while I was just using my iPhone 5 and this is my very first video on my new Canon. Um, a lot of you who follow I Just Seen know that she uses this cute little white Canon camera and I was interested in finally up, kind of updating my YouTube game and I texted her and I said what do you suggest and she gave me a whole list of suggestions and I ordered this one and I'm absolutely in love with it. It's really small. I love Canon right now. It's I cannot wait to start traveling with it. But anyway, that's going off topic. Back to topic. My YouTube story really is basically the fact that I wanted it to be kind of a video diary. I wanted to document what I do. I wanted people to be able to see that I'm Lizzie, a 24 year old girl who loves to hang out with friends, who goes out for dinner and drinks with friends, who loves to read and write and meet people and inspire people and I didn't want to be known as Lizzie the girl with the syndrome and that's it because my syndrome doesn't define me. The way that I look doesn't define me. I feel like my character and my personality is what defines me. And so my whole goal for all these YouTube videos is to show that, to show that I'm just like you guys, even though I'm really tiny, I'm just like you and I want, I'm just so inspired by YouTube. If you are thinking like, 
I want to start a channel but nobody's gonna subscribe well no one's gonna subscribe if you don't make the channel I think you should find your niche on YouTube and find what you like whether it's gaming crafting beauty vlogs whatever it may be it's a lot of work YouTube is a lot of work I I like bow down to the daily vloggers like the Shay Tarts, um, Joey Graceffa, Daily Grace, uh, who else? Um, Casey Levere. I feel like I'm forgetting people. Oh, I just seen she has like 10 million channels. Editing, keeping up with it is a lot of work, but it's their passion and it's what they love, and I admire them so much for that. Especially all of the CTFXC people. I. I'm so so inspired by Charles and Allie, especially with all of Charles, like his medical and vlogging during brain surgery. Crazy, and that's dedication. If you, if someone were to win a YouTube vlogging dedication award, that would go to Charles because he is awesome and Allie is amazing. And I haven't met them, but I hope one day to meet them. And I don't know, I think if you want to start a YouTube channel and you're nervous that people are gonna hate, leave hate comments or say something mean and it's gonna hurt your feelings and maybe you can start off to where you start making your videos but you don't, you have the comments on approved or not approved so that could help you. But whatever it is, like just try it, don't be afraid because YouTube has become a huge part of my life and I have met some awesome, awesome, awesome people. And I can sit and watch YouTube and my family's like, you're obsessed, you're obsessed, that's all you do. But I love it so much because the community is so welcoming and it inspires you so much. And you watch these videos and you feel like you're friends with these people. You feel like you know them personally. And when sad things happen, you cry with them. And when good things happen, you cry happy tears with them. And there have been many nights where I've gone through a lot and I watch a Shay Tarts video and they say something funny and Shay throws a kid up in the air and it's funny or I watch Casey say one of his jokes or Justine do something funny and it's, I don't know, I just can't say enough of it. I feel like I'm still in the beginning stages of my YouTube journey, but ba my story is really simple with YouTube. I just uploaded one video at a time and decided to keep going and I I think I've passed 100 uploads and some are just random, some are short, some are pointless, some are inspirational, some are just random daily things that I do, it's our trips that I go on, but I like sharing them with you because again, I feel like YouTube is a window into me being able to let you into my life and I want you guys in my life and um, anyway. If you want to start a YouTube channel and start your own YouTube journey, have your own YouTube story, I highly, highly suggest it. If you do think you don't have a good enough camera, I went through every camera possible. So even if it's low quality, some of my videos are so fuzzy you can't even tell, but I posted it anyway. So I definitely think, I highly suggest just start a foundation for YouTube because it's so wonderful. and. I've been just so lucky, so, 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 so lucky to be able to meet some of my inspirational YouTube YouTubers and the first one that I got to meet was Kaylee from Hey Kaylee. She does a lot of crafts and beauty and stuff and I was on Twitter one day and someone, I asked if someone knew how to do, knew a video to show me how to do a certain kind of braid and someone tweeted me Kaylee's video about braids. I tweeted Kaylee, she tweeted back, and we ended up texting, we ended up meeting when I was in California. I went to dinner with her and Casey and Gage and Braley, and then she brought the whole Shaytar clan with them and I met them. And then they just gave me so much advice and we're, I feel like I'm really good friends with them now. And I met I just seen because she commented on one of my Instagram pictures. I didn't know she was already following me and I had a huge fangirl moment. And we ended up texting and meeting when I was in California and she helped me, um, she took me, invited me to an event here in Austin that she was at a panel on with some other YouTubers and I got to meet uh, Grace Helbig and Mamrie Hart and just the people on YouTube are just so nice and so inspiring and I hope you guys 
want to come into this community even if you don't want to make videos just watch them and support and thumbs up the videos comment the videos subscribe to people's channels just welcome yourself into the youtube family and i know i'm still new to all of this i'm nowhere near their level but um that's it that's my youtube story and i hope you guys enjoyed it um Again, I will be back making videos on Thursday, and if you have any questions that you want me to answer, you can send them to me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Hey guys, you know the drill. Thanks for watching my videos. If you want to see the next one, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right there. If you haven't subscribed, I highly suggest you click right there. Again, as always, thanks for watching my videos, and I will see you next time. Bye!